The transfer window is heating up for Arsenal Football Club. Yesterday, they surprised the world by agreeing a deal for Fabio Vieira. And today, the surprises have continued. So let's find out what David Ornstein has revealed about Arsenal's move for Lissandro Martinez. What Fabrizio Romano said about Yuri Tielemans? Has a deal been agreed for Gabriel Jesus? And are Arsenal still looking to sign Leeds United's Rafinha? Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Bows14 and welcome back to your boys channel. There is a lot of excitement around the Emirates Stadium and so many things are happening. But before we get into that, smash a like if you enjoy the content, subscribe if you are new. Just 8k away from the big 100,000 subscribers. It's gargantuan. But into the Arsenal transfer news and starting off with the latest on the midfield. Mikel Arteta has moved into the full 3-3 and to maximise that to maximize the strengths of the formation, it is vital that Arsenal sign the right profiles. And signings are what we are getting. And today Fabrizio Romano confirms that Fabio Vieira has officially signed with Arsenal until June 2027 after his medical test was successfully completed. The medical procedures have been passed, this transfer has flown by us, it was such a surprise, such a good surprise, doing the business behind the scenes, keeping a top secret and then hitting us with a secret surprise. The selling club Porto have also confirmed confirmed with an official statement that Fabio Vieira is on his way to the Emirates, saying that a deal is complete for the amount of 40 million euros, with 5 million euros dependent on achievements and sporting objectives. As per on this channel, we have to give Fabio Vieira a gargantuan welcome to Arsenal. There is so much excitement about the player, the profile of the age and the quality and the potential, but also what he can offer Arsenal in the present and going into next season, elite squad depth and competition towards Martin Odegaard. A player that is so versatile, able to play as a right winger, as an interior number eight, and sometimes as a false nine. And also something that is very important is he only wanted Arsenal Football Club. And this was confirmed by Freddie Paxton of The Guardian, confirming that Tottenham and others showed some interest in Fabio Vieira this summer, but the player was dead set on his move to Arsenal. No obstacles, easy negotiation, and that's why it came so out of the blue. Players want to come to our gargantuan institution, it's not a surprise to your boy. And it just goes to show that this whole Arsenal project is still able to attract players that are in demand and so many other clubs want to sign. The only thing that we are now waiting for is Arsenal's official confirmation and there will also be an in-depth analysis on the player coming very soon on your boys channel. But on top of Fabio Vieira, Arsenal also have other midfield targets with the main one being Yuri Tielemans. Now the most reliable reporter on this case has been Mr Ben Jacobs of CBS and he's always confirmed that despite the signing of Fabio Vieira, Arsenal are still looking to sign Yuri Tielemans. But then saying that, according to Rob Dorsey of Sky Sports News, he claims that Arsenal's interest in the Leicester midfielder Yuri Tielemans has called, making it more likely that he will sign a one-year contract extension at the King Power. That news there caused quite a bit of panic in the Arsenal fan base. Why are we not signing Tielemans? The price tag is there, Arsenal can afford it. Reportedly, personal terms have never been an issue. But out of all of the panic, enter the fray, Mr. Here We Go, Fabrizio Romano saying that he has been told that Tielemans is not considering to sign a contract extension with Leicester. It could be an option in September in the case that he doesn't leave, but not as of now, with Arsenal still working on a deal since a long time. No official bid and other clubs are also interested. We all know how reliable Fabrizio Romano normally is, but in particular in the case of Yuri Tielemans. Not only does Fabrizio seem to have very good ties with Edu Gaspar, the main guy for Arsenal transfers, but it's worth pointing out that Fabrizio is also very very close to the agency of Yuri Tielemans. He confirms that Arsenal are still in negotiations but yet to launch an official bid. But why exactly is that? Well, it all depends on what reports you read because some people are claiming the Leicester actually want closer to £40 million for a player with only one year left on his contract and an individual that has made it very clear that he wants to leave. £30 million max is what I think Arsenal should be paying. But if it is the case that Leicester are asking for a higher price tag, we might be seeing Arsenal once again use the whole calling interest negotiation 
tactic. And we saw this last season actually with Aaron Ramsdale, a player that Arsenal chased for the entire transfer window, but Sheffield United were not budging on their £40 million price tag. Then when you had reports coming out that Arsenal had called their interest, no surprises that a couple days later, Arsenal had officially agreed a deal. Maybe once again, Arsenal are using the media to play their power cards and negotiate a better price tag. According to Charles Watt, if Arsenal are able to sign Vieira, Tiedemans and Gabriel Jesus, I wouldn't say that is it for the transfer window. I think they will continue. Activity FC from Arsenal, music to the ears of Arsenal fans, but are they looking to strengthen in the defence? Well today you have some massive news coming from David Ornstein, saying that Arsenal's defensive priority this window is to Sandro Martinez, wanted for his ability to play as a left centre back and left back, and the 24 year old Argentina international is said to be keen. Sources have indicated that a 30 million euro bid has already been rejected by Ajax, but Arsenal will keep pushing. The age profile, the experience and most importantly the overall quality. In my opinion, if Arsenal could sign Lissandro Martinez then this would be a fantastic transfer. And with one scene confirming that Arsenal have made an offer, despite that being rejected, Arsenal remain very keen. The fact the report claims that a player is keen to come to the Emirates in transfer windows if a player actively wants to make a move, if Arsenal can afford him as much as Ajax wants to keep the player, it is Arsenal that have all the power and can make a transfer happen. Just with one player in Lissandro Martinez, Arsenal would be getting elite depth for the left centre back, a left back as well and a player that is more than capable of playing as a defensive midfielder. In fact back in 2019-20 when he played as a defensive midfielder, Martinez ranked as the most similar profile to Fernandinho of 18-19, a midfielder that helped Man City win the Premier League title. This strikes me as a massive Mikel Arteta type of signing, the versatility, the profile and the player himself and despite Arsenal's opening bid being rejected, according to the mail, Arsenal will return with a new bid of £30 million to try and seal a deal for Lissandro Martinez. This won't be an easy transfer to make happen, but with Arsenal's desire kept in mind, the player's desire to come to the Emirates, this potentially could be a very doable transfer. If we could have those four players of William Saliba, Ben White, Gabriel and Lissandro Martinez, in terms of centre-back depth and quality, that would be up there with the best in the Premier League. But what do you guys make of Lissandro Martinez? Martinez, an easier player that you guys would like to see Arsenal sign. Moving on, let's discuss Gabriel Jesus. Midfielders, midfielders talk to me about strikers and particular centre forwards and a Brazilian international, Man City superstar, Premier League winner, are Arsenal going to give us a bit of Gabi Jesus? Well according to reports in Brazil, Arsenal are closing into signing Gabriel Jesus after agreeing a deal with Manchester City worth around 58 million euros. Jesus' future is expected to be finalised by the end of next week. It looks like Arsenal have closed a deal and agreed terms with Man City and that of course is massive, it was the only thing holding this transfer back. Jesus wants to come to Arsenal, he wants to work with Mikel Arteta alongside the hefty contract that Arsenal have also offered, personal terms haven't been an issue. All that is left according to Julian Laurence is that Arsenal are currently working on the structure of a deal with a set transfer fee and bonuses that would satisfy the Premier League champions. On top of the signing of Fabio Vieira, this seems to be the second closest Arsenal transfer and with the fee basically being agreed hopefully in the next few days Fabrizio Romano will give us those iconic beautiful words of here we go. But on top of Gabriel Jesus will Arsenal further strengthen their front line? Well according to Charles Watts Arsenal are very much interested in signing Rafinha. Whether they push forward and try to get that deal done while Pepe is still at the club remains to be seen and this was also agreed by the Athletic who are reporting that a deal for Leeds United Rafinha is thought to be a contingent on a Nicola Pepe exit. It is believed that Arsenal and the Ivorian are keen to see this happen, but the club would need to see a reasonable return on their club record signing. Yesterday we spoke about the fact that if Arsenal are signing Fabio Vieira, a player able to play on the right wing, I wasn't sure if Arsenal were going to still sign Rafinha, but according to Charles Watt that remains the case and that is very exciting. But with the price tag being £50 million, the key is all about how much money Arsenal could get in for the departure of Nicola Pepe. So far so we've not heard that much and that is a surprise. The window has been open and not many clubs seem to be 
be interested. And if you're to go for reports in January, the Italian clubs of Inter Milan and AC Milan seem to have an interest. Now for the player, that might be a decent transfer, but for Arsenal, we all know how these Italian clubs tend to operate. It is always about a loan with an option or obligation to buy. But if Arsenal can negotiate a transfer for Nicola Pepe, then potentially Rafinha becomes a far more likely possibility. The Athletic have also reported the signing of Fabio Vieira does not necessarily mean that Arsenal will stop chasing other targets targets such as Rafinha, Gabriel Jesus or Lissandro Martinez. Rather, they are keen to press on. The plan ideally is to recruit them all and even according to the mirror, Arsenal are set for a £215 million transfer spree this summer. There were so many reports last season that the Cronkies were going to give Mikel Arteta a massive transfer budget and with the signing of Fabio Vieira, closing of Yuri Tielemans and Gabriel Jesus and then the targeting of Lissandro Martinez, Rafinha and other expensive targets. The saying is that hope kills you as an Arsenal fan but right now there are so many hopeful Arsenal fans and it looks like touch wood, fingers crossed, Arsenal have the finances and mean business in this transfer window. Moving on to the other Arsenal news today and starting off with a case involving an Arsenal midfielder that is now officially under investigation. According to the Mail, Granit Xhaka's mysterious booking in Arsenal's win against Leeds last season is being investigated by the National Crime Agency agency amid suspicions of a major betting scandal, there has never been any suggestion of any wrongdoing by Xhaka or any other Arsenal player. Now the card that is in question here is an Arsenal's 4-1 victory back in December. The game was all but done and Arsenal had their 3 points. Yet during a free kick where Xhaka was just taking his time, the referee thought that Xhaka was time wasting and gave the player a booking. At the time of the booking, no one cared about it too much but since then there have been official investigations by the FA and the key part here, this is not about Xhaka or any Arsenal players, it is about the referee on the day and him potentially giving Xhaka a booking on purpose to earn someone else a lot of money. Now if this is to be true, it just kind of confirms to the world, there is actually an agenda against Granit Xhaka and referees are now using that against the player to potentially earn some money. But as things stands, it is an open investigation and we are going to have to wait and see. According to Gianluca Di Marcio, Arsenal want to loan Nuno Tavares to Atalanta or do a straight sale. They value him at 40 million euros. Now a loan for Tavares makes a lot of sense, to go to Atalanta makes even more sense, a team that plays wing backs and operates very well with their wide players. Not only would he gain vital first team experience but potentially come back to Arsenal as a better player but at the valuation of 40 million euros, if Edu Gaspar is able to negotiate that money for Tavares then with all due respect potentially he might be due a statue outside the Emirates state. And finally according to Fabrizio Romano, Eddie Inketia has a officially signed a new contract until June 2027. The official statement is to come soon. Enketia turned down multiple bids from the Bundesliga and Premier League clubs to stay at Arsenal. But that isn't nothing new, what is new is Eddie Nketiah's brand new potential number. As when signing an autograph today outside the Arsenal training ground after signing his contract, Nketiah's signature included a number 14. Since then quite a few Arsenal reporters and Fabrizio Romano have confirmed that this is likely to be the case and that Eddie Nketiah is going to be Arsenal's brand new number 14. Following in the footsteps of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, Theo Walcott and the Arsenal goat in Thierry Henry. This is gonna cause a lot of talking points so talk to me down below in the comments. What are your thoughts on Eddie Nketiah potentially getting the Arsenal number 14 shirt? But that is the video there and there so hopefully you guys have enjoyed and if you have make sure to smash a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Follow your boy on all of his social medias, the links will be down below in the description. But that was today's episode of the Transfers FC. You've got Vieira done, potentially Tielemans after, Jesus is closed into it and maybe a cheeky Lissandro Martinez also reactive is kind of exciting and as always we're gonna have to wait and see take care of yourselves and have a bit